Let's check out our newest promotion, Gnomes for Spring. So we're going to dive right in to show you the artwork that I created, which are eight really cute, adorable scrapbook pages. The colors are just so bright and cheerful. I think you're really going to like this collection. I also uh, used up my scraps to make six cards. So let's look at the product line. Now this is the product bundle, which has all the pattern paper, sticker sheet, all the coordinating card stock, everything that you need. Now this stamp set right here comes in the card workshop. Now that is, if you order the scrapbook bundle, the difference is about $3, and this set would not be in it. But it's always kind of nice to have those little extra stamps for cards, if you like. So we'll get a closer look at those items. Here's your papers. So really pretty colors and designs, as well as the sticker sheet. And we also have the coordinating card stock, which is white daisy, honey butter, limeade, jade, glacier, and flamingo. You will need more white daisy to do this workshop kit with me. Now this is the gnomes, and this is a girl gnome, and there's a lot of adorable pieces. I think the flowers are some of my favorite, and I love the different designs that you can do with the umbrella as well. A cute little pink tails, a bow to go with her pink tails, her feet, a little um, collar for her dress. So many cute, adorable pieces. Now this is the scrapbooking workshop kit. So you have some great titles, and then all of these images here also have a thin cut. Pink acrylics, butterflies and flowers, and I'm also going to be using Bitty and Clear Gems to add a little bit of bling to those. And that is the card making stamp set right there. Really cute. Now what's new is I am adding the Bitty flower embossing folder and stencil, as well as the Swiss dot embossing folder and stencil. It's $6.90 for each set. There's an embossing folder and a stencil, and they are in a 4x4 four four size, and these go live March 1st. Now, many of you can check your stash because you've owned these fancy brackets and the borders, as well as the circle thin cuts. Now, here's layout one. Really adorable. The colors are just so pretty to play with, and you'll see how I use the borders on the bottom. When you get a closer look of the two page spread next to each other, you'll see how I stamped those flowers. And I also used our colored pencils, or you can use markers to color them in. That's your choice. Look how cute she is with her pink hat. Her hair is always going to be yellow, but you can definitely use your stash and add toffee, brown, red to change out the hair color. That's your choice. But it's really an adorable layout. Here's that watering can. So to give you a close-up of some of the images, the stickers, and using some of the stickers here, and then those butterflies have the gems on it. And here she is. So here you can see I used that Swiss dot folder and stencil to create the look on the umbrella. And the flower embossing folder, and I sanded those flowers and added a little bit of bitty bling. Isn't she adorable? Oh, there's that little snail in, snuck in there too, and then you can see the cute little border thin cuts. The watering can is colored in with water, with the coloring pencils, and then you have some of those cute little butterflies. I used my black lip pen to add those little dots for sprinkles of water. The second layout is also adorable, and I am using the gnomes on all four pages. She's just so cute, I couldn't resist. To me, this is more like my St. Patty's Day kind of look because of the green. I have her in green and yellow, and it's just a cute layout. This is our sticker here. Now the kite is done in three times. I've stamped it and I pieced it together. You'll see a close-up of that, as well as the title right here. And now I use some shimmer brushes on the background, so that's optional for you, just on the white on the bottom. So here she is, and now you can see that kite. I colored these in with pencils, but what I did is I stamped the kite on different uh, patterns of colors of paper. So you have the flamingo light, glacier light, and then this pattern right here, and then I pieced it back together. I did that on all three um, kites, so it makes it fun. Now this kite is a sticker, and I just used my journaling pen to add that black line so it popped out a little bit. It's not supposed to look perfect. Now the story of today is stamped in jade and it's on that bracket, that large bracket. And now you can see how I use those thin cut flowers that come with the gnome girl right here to add a little bit more design work. 
Here's the next set of pages. Now this is definitely on White Daisy. It's very bright and it's very cheerful, but it is so cute. I decided I wanted to use more of the umbrellas. I know many times we take photos of places that have umbrellas hanging upside down, so you could do that if you'd like. But here you can see the different umbrellas here and here and also with her as well. So it's just a really cute layout using all the different patterns that are in the kit. The yellows, the glacier, the flamingo, just having fun with it. Now you can see a close-up gray for springtime is a sticker, another one of those flower thin cuts, and then this umbrella was done with the embossing folder and I sanded it. <coughs> Here you can see I stenciled those flowers and added a little bit of bitty bling. Here I added one of those acrylic flowers to the flower. So we're really having fun layering and adding color through different ways with all of our uh, pieces that we can use. And another flower umbrella here and the cloud. I love that cloud paper. Now this was one of the, this is the last layout. This is pages seven and eight. And this is something that came to me about taking strips of paper and creating like a rainbow look. So you have the light side and the dark side, light side and dark side and so on, adding black stitching lines and then using that fancy bracket to create that look. It really looks so pretty together. And not only that, I took all of the inks and I lightly sponged the background in all the colors, the yellow, the flamingo, the glacier, and then the limeade on the layout. So it just blends it in a little bit. I love that I use the fancy brackets this way, the smaller one and then two of the larger ones. So you have all those stitching lines going here. Here's that umbrella that is stamped and paper pieced as far as the multi stripe goes and another one of the watering can. And there's that little flower again. I really, we're doing about eight to 10 of those flowers. They're just so pretty. Now this is a sticker and I just used my journaling lines to uh, journal pen to add those little black dots as well as add some black to the umbrella just to pop it a little bit to pick up the black that's in the title. Now here she is. Now I took White Daisy and I embossed the bitty flowers here and you could see how cute that looks and I didn't add any bling. I kept it really simple. But I love all the colors, right? Look at her pink tails, her shoes, her collar, her outfit. We have the cloud umbrella, that cute little flower again with an acrylic flower here. And I'm also adding the honey butter, honey bunny dots throughout. So you'll see the clear dots and bling as well as the honey bunny ones. They work so well together. Now this was an idea that came to me after I put it all together. I could have used the Swiss dot embossing folder to do some of the stripes. I wouldn't have done all of them. I would have been selective, but that's an option that you can do and add on your own. It really makes a difference to have that look. So you have an opening in here and then you push it through and put it through your machine. Now, when it comes to the scraps, I really, I'm telling you, you're not going to have anything left over. It's so cool. I love that. And here are the cards that I made. It's just nice to have a couple of extra cards on hand. So we have these. These are from the card making kit. I took their design and I may, maybe changed it out a little bit. I used one of my thin cuts that I had in my stash. This one flowered one scallop. Really pretty. Added the butterfly thin cut and that acrylic. And then here, uh, sending a happy hello is just fussy cut out. Now you can see more of those butterflies, and I just love using the bling with them. Now these two cards are identical. It's just flipping over this side to become the gnome side, so it's the same thing. And I use those decorative, the brand new decorative thin cuts, that heart. But many of you have hearts to make a shamrock, so have fun with what you have. I love this saying, may a rainbow run beside you in a sky that's always blue. I think I'm going to have to add that to my Ireland book. But uh, you can see here the cloud paper, the stripe, and now I use that um, rainbow stamp. And I use my colored pencils to color it in just to add a little bit more detail on that card. And the last card I made, I had to use the gnome. She's just so, so cute. I'm using all the bits and pieces and a circle thin cut. You are special with the flower border and her green hat and her cute outfit and shoes. I love matchy matchy, so her hat and shoes match together, but you can create her any way you like with whatever you like to do. So there you have it, gnomes for spring. The shopping list will have all the details on it. 
and there will not be an online event for this. You'll be doing it on your own, but I'm sure that you'll love every moment of it.